Hey guys, what's going on? Hope everybody's having a good day out there today and really appreciate you guys taking a few minutes out of your day to watch the video. Just uh, very grateful for that. And today I'm going to share with you guys some of the uh, secrets and tips I've learned about fishing the baby brush hog. You know, it's been around a long time. Everybody's familiar with the brush hog and the baby brush hog. And I've got some stuff that I do with it I'm going to share with you guys. I think it'll add up to a few more fish. So Anyway, before we get started, just a couple quick housekeeping tips. I just want to remind everybody once again, if you guys are interested in any of our lake map breakdowns, go check them out on fishthemoment.com. Johnny and I are knocking them out for the fall right now. Got lakes all over the country broke down. It's a good way to build a foundation for the lake you're wanting to fish or learn a little bit better. You can check them out on fishthemoment.com. And also, I uh, just want to invite everybody uh, to, uh, if you guys are interested on any, any of the on-the-water lessons with myself, uh, I do a lot of on-the-water lessons around here, Table Rock Lake, uh, Stockton Lake, all these lakes around my house here. Send me a, just shoot me an email on my Facebook page, Randy Block at Professional Angler, and I'll give you all the information on that. Okay, so let's talk about baby brush hogs a little bit. <clears throat> Started out with the brush hog. Brush hog was one of those, sort of those uh, transformative baits that come along once in a while. There's not a lot of new type baits that come out that are really unique and innovative but the brush hog was one of those it was a completely different deal it sort of started the creature bait deal um, and a lot of the stuff i'm going to talk about here with the baby brush hogs the same way but anyway the baby brush hog is just a downsized version of the regular size brush hog and i'll sort of want to go through this thing and tell you some some why and when i fish and under which situations first of all guys the baby brush hog is it's one of the it's it's not a secret but yet it it doesn't get talked about for the amount of people that fish the thing. There are a ton of pros that fish the baby brush hog, even if they're sponsored by other companies. There are a lot of guys that fish it, a lot of the touring pros, simply because it produces numbers and size of bass. It, even though it's downsized from the brush hog, it still produces quality bass. The times that I like to fish the baby brush hog, I'm sort of, I'm gonna go over it a little bit, then I'm gonna show you some modifications I do with it, is, um, it's one of the best pitching and flipping baits that you can possibly have in cover that's not extremely thick. And what I mean by that is if you're flipping like laydowns, isolated stumps, um, sparse grass, boat docks, um, any of that type of stuff, some of the stuff that's not super thick and gnarly, the baby brush hog is just hard to beat. It is one of the best pitching and flipping baits that you can use out there. Normally, most of the time, I've experimented with a lot of different like sinker sizes on it. And guys, one tip I'll give you with the baby brush hog, you'll get a lot more bites on it, especially from the bigger fish if you go with the lighter weight. Most of the time, I like a 3 ounce weight, which is a lot of people don't go that light a lot of times, but I use the 3 ounce weight any time that I can get away with it. The, the way that that bait falls with a 3 16 ounce weight and 17 pound fluorocarbon line, it's just, it just gets a ton of bites. I use 17 pound test Seaguar and Vizex fluorocarbon with it, and I'm usually having it on my, on my flipping stick. And like I said, I'm picking apart any type of pitching and flipping cover that I get to. Um, it's one of the best baits that you can have, I found, if, you're, if you have a lake, like if you guys are in Florida, or if you fish some of the TVA lakes, or if you fish up north, if you have milfoil in the body water that you find and you've got that milfoil that's got holes in it, which is common throughout the country, the baby brush hog is one of the most deadly baits that you can possibly have flipping holes in milfoil. It's just absolutely deadly. And another thing that I found about this bait is it works all the year. I catch fish in this on this bait anytime the water is between 50 and 100 degrees. I mean, it works good. Early on in the year, during the pre-spawn, it works all through the spawn. It's great for when those fish, you know, are close to bedding. Um, all through the summer, pitching it, flipping around shallow water targets. In addition to that, it's one of the best Carolina rig baits you'll ever have. You can put it on a Carolina rig, catch a ton of fish on it. Another thing with this is a great bait to throw behind a football head jig or a swing head jig. If I'm using like the biffle head swing head jig, a lot of times I'm using the baby brush hog. This is like a huge secret down at Grand Lake. A lot of the locals down at Grand don't talk about that, but they use it behind a swing head and a football head jig uh, as well. So those are sort of the applications with it. Now I'm gonna show you guys a quick modification that I do with all of them. 
Uh, then I'll talk a little bit about colors before I wrap it up. The thing that you want to do with this thing right off the bat is, like I said, I take a pair of scissors and I free up the arms on it. And uh, a lot of people don't do this, but I like to free up the arms. It has a little bit of wiggling, waggling. And then I'll take the tail. I've, I've done, I did a video on this on the regular brush hog, but I take the uh, flappers on the side and I'm going to make two cuts in them down the middle of them. And what this does, it gives the bait a little bit different look. It sort of flares those flappers out a little bit more. Um, also, aside from giving a little more action, it gives it a little bit different look and you don't have the solid mass of plastic there. So it's better for the hook penetration. So that's the, that's the first thing that I do for the modifications on it. Colors, I keep it pretty simple. Um, you know, I'm usually using some type of watermelon green pumpkin if the water visibility is greater than three feet. Um, if it's less than three feet, specifically if it's in that one to two foot range, that's when I like to go to the darker colors like the black blue, you know, June bugs and all that type of stuff. So you need to mix and match up water clarity and skylight conditions uh, with it bad. And another thing about that is that if you're using a natural color baby brush hog like the green pumpkins, um, I always usually dye the tail either orange or chartreuse. It seems like I get a lot more bites. It gives it a completely different look. Uh, orange or chartreuse dye on the tail. So anyway guys, that's how that's some tips for the baby brush hog. It's an outstanding lure. If I'd say if I if you told me Randy you could have one creature bait to flip and you can't have any other creature blades all year long, it would be the baby brush hog. I've caught tons of bass on it. I've caught tons of big bass. A lot of tournaments get one on it. Super versatile. So um, check them out, try them out. I'll include the uh, bait works link here. So if you guys would like to help the channel out here, you can use that link and order these things through Baitworks, and it's a good way to support what I'm doing here on the channel. So once again, guys, appreciate you guys following me. Thanks for everything. Please subscribe if you haven't. We're going to be having a, a, a drawing at the end of the month for some bridge for beef jerky, and we'll be back soon with another one. See you.